y'all, this is Ruby, and this is Ruby's Resin Studio, <laughs> and uh, today I am going to try to make a fire tray. Uh, several months ago, I saw Daniel Cooper, I don't know how long ago the video was, but I saw Daniel Cooper do the peach tree effect, and he done this one that looks like fire. And I'm like, ooh, I wonder if I can do that in a tray. So we're going to find out. So, uh. Here we go. I've got the uh, I've got the resin mixed up, and I just popped all the bubbles on it. And then we're going to try this. I hope I got enough resin. I may not have. I don't know. But I did last night go ahead and pour a border, so everything doesn't get lost. And I didn't make enough. I'm gonna have to make up some more. Maybe I can get enough to cover it. I just want to cover it. I don't want to, I've got to put it back on it anyway. But I just want to cover it for this time. And I think I got it. And what is that in my resin? More resin. Pure resin. But resin nevertheless. So excuse the hand if it's in your all's way. I haven't ever tried anything this, well, I haven't tried the feature on a very large scale, and I'm pretty sure this is a pretty large scale item. Uh, looks like I need to, looks like my tray's unlevel again. Daggone it, I thought I had it leveled up this time. Yeah, it should be okay. Maybe. I don't know. My table's, well, my whole house is unlevel, so... I don't know why I would expect anything to be level in this house. Because it just ain't going to happen. That is... Alright, can I you? Woo! I'm going to dump it out the other end. I'm trying to fix this end. Mercy. Come on now. Cooperate here. Alright. I probably just made it more unlevel. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to torch it for a few seconds, make sure I don't diffuse the mold, and I'm going to use alcohol too, because I can't get around the edges with that torch. I probably could, but I don't want to try it and take a chance on screwing it up. Alright, so let's see. Let's take some red, let's see, that's some in yellow. There's my yellow alcohol ink, stay put. Got this little tray at the tree, uh, store one day, and uh, thought it might come in handy for this, and it kind of does. But I still can't. I still have to look, find everything. Guess I should have had all this set out and ready, huh? That would made more sense. Uh, where is the orange hiding? Another yellow. Or yet, yeah, where's my red hiding? It's peach red. I did not use peach red. There's my orange. I want the resin dye. think the resin dye will work as well, but we're going to find out, I guess, because I can't seem to find my alcohol ink and my red. I found peach red, I found blue galore. What's this one? Resin dye. Alright, we'll do the, let's try the resin, I don't have much of that left. Alright, we're just going to drop some inks and we'll see what happens. I 
that is up too high now. Because it is disappearing. Stop it disappearing. It's pulling away from itself, which means it's not leveled. Again, it's not leveled. out of it, Ruby. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting for sure. Okay, I dropped all the red. Now let's drop some orange. And some yellow. Open. Open says me. Let that spread for a little bit. I'm going to go back in and add more, I guess. A different yellow to the bottom here. Yellow disappears pretty easily, especially this lemon yellow. It's just so pale so light colored it's just like yeah no all right we'll try this one this is a new alcohol ink i just got the other day oh mercy i can't believe that is pulling away up there like that what the heck is going on here So we do it right after I drop the inks. I guess I didn't have enough resin after all. All right, looks like I need to mix up just a little bit more, and uh, let's see what we can do here. So. And I am using the uh, Let's Resin Tabletop Resin today. So bear with me, folks. Let's see what we can get accomplished here. All right, I'm gonna put y'all on pause. And uh, I'll be right back when I get this other resin mixed. All right, y'all, we're back again, and uh, I've dropped all my uh, uh, yeah, I dropped all my inks. There we go. No, where's my white one? White, 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 white. There it is. We'll see. And then I'm just going to drop some sinker white on top of it. And let's we'll see if I can make a fire. Shake it up real good. I don't know why the white is such a pain with black. It always wants to stick everywhere. See how well I can do this Petri effect fire. It takes a lot of ink. <laughs> now I know a lot of people don't do this on a large scale. <laughs> No pain, no gain, though, right? Drop 
some more there, have some more there, have that up there, a little bit there, just go crazy. Alright, now we'll let that sit for a little bit, and uh, we'll come back uh, when it's uh, ready to, I'm going to give it about 30 minutes, let this ink do its thing, and then I'm going to attempt to make some fire. looks like a hot mess right now but it's at the point where I get the strings like Daniel claims to do so uh, we're gonna start drawing in our uh, our uh, little flames there we go sorry uh, losing my words today I don't know what is wrong with me I've got a pair of gloves it's been roughly about an hour well maybe not quite that long maybe 30 minutes But this is the tabletop resin, and it does set up a little bit quicker. It's a really thick resin to begin with, but... So let's see, how about we just go this way? the sides out and there we go and we'll see what that looks like in about six hours when it's done uh, let's see, do I need to add a few more in there how about that couple there maybe another one there how about another one there and another one there I think that should be plenty I love playing in resin it's just fun And we'll let it set, and we'll come back in about six hours to demold, and we'll see what happens. I'll catch y'all then. Bye. Hello, y'all. This is Ruby, and this is Ruby's Resin Studio. <laughs> and uh, today, I am going to try to make a fire tray. Uh, so we'll months ago I saw Daniel Cooper I don't know how long ago the video was but I saw Daniel Cooper do the peach tree effect and he done this one that looks like fire and I'm like ooh I wonder if I can do that in a tray so we're going to find out so uh here we go I've got the uh I've got the resin mixed up and I just popped all the bubbles on it And then we're going to try this. I hope I got enough resin. I may not have. I don't know. But I did last night go ahead and pour a border. So everything doesn't get lost. And I didn't make enough. I'm going to have to make up some more. Uh, maybe I can get enough to cover it. I just want to cover it. I don't want to, I've got to put it back on it anyway. But I just want to cover it for this time. And I think I got it. And what is that in my resin? More resin. Pure resin. But resin nevertheless. 
So excuse the hand if it's in y'all's way. I haven't ever tried anything this, well, I haven't tried the feature on a very large scale. And I'm pretty sure this is a pretty large scale item. Uh, looks like I need to, looks like my tray's unlevel again. Daggone it, I thought I had it leveled up this time. Yeah, it should be okay. Maybe. I don't know. My table's, well, my whole house is unlevel, so. I don't know why I would expect anything to be level in this house. Because it just ain't going to happen. That is... Alright, come here, you. Woo! I'm going to dump it out the other end. I'm trying to fix this end. Mercy. Come on, now. Cooperate here. Alright. I probably just made it more unlevel. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to... Torch it for a few seconds. Make sure I don't diffuse the mold. And I'm going to use alcohol too because I can't get around the edges with that torch. I probably could, but I don't want to try it and take a chance on screwing it up. Alright, so let's see. Let's take some red. Let's see. That's a in yellow. There's my yellow alcohol ink. Stay put. Got this little tray at the true, uh, store one day. And uh, thought it might come in handy for this. And it kind of does. But I still can't. I still have to look, find everything. Guess I should have had all this set out and ready, huh? That would have made more sense. Uh, where is the orange hiding? There's another yellow. Yet. Where's my red hiding? It's peach red. I did not use peach red. There's my orange. I want a resin dye. the resin dial work as well but we're gonna find out I guess because I can't seem to find my alcohol ink and my red I found peach red I found blue galore what's this one resin dye all right we'll do the let's try the resin how much of that left all right we're just gonna drop some inks and we'll see what happens up too high now because it is disappearing <gasps> stuff is disappearing it's pulling away from itself which means it's not level again it's not level Ruby. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting for sure. Okay, I dropped all the red. Now let's drop some orange. says me I 
that spread for a little bit. I'm going to go back in and add more, I guess. I have different yellow to the bottom here. Yellow disappears pretty easily, especially this lemon yellow. It's just so pale. So light colored. It's just like, yeah, no. Alright, we'll try this one. This is a new alcohol ink I just got the other day. Oh, mercy. I can't believe that is pulling away up there like that. What the heck is going on here? Of course, it would do it right after I dropped the inks. I guess I didn't have enough resin after all. Alright, looks like I need to mix up just a little bit more. And, uh, let's see what we can do here. So, and I am using the uh, Let's Resin Tabletop Resin today. Bear with me, folks. Let's see what we can get accomplished here. All right. I'm going to put you all on pause. And uh, I'll be right back when I get this other resin mixed. y'all we're back again and uh, I've dropped all my uh, uh, yeah I dropped all my inks there we go no where's my white one wait 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 there it is we'll see and then I'm just gonna drop some sinker white on top of it and let's see if I can make a fire shake it up real good I don't know why the white is such a pain in the butt it always wants to stick everywhere. Let's see how well I can do this Petri effect fire. Takes a lot of ink. <laughs> now I know a lot of people don't do this on a large scale. <laughs> no pain, no gain, though, right? Up some more there. Up some more there. How about up there? A little bit there. Just go crazy. Alright, now we'll let that sit for a little bit, and uh, we'll come back when it's uh, ready to, I'm going to give it about 30 minutes, let this ink do its thing, and then I'm going to attempt to make some fire. Kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but it's at the point where I get the strings like Daniel claims to do. So uh, we're gonna start drawing in our uh, our uh, little flames. There we go. Sorry, I'm losing my words today. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm a pair of gloves. 
it's been roughly about an hour. Well, maybe not quite that long. Maybe 30 minutes. But this is the tabletop resin. It does set up a little bit quicker. It's a really thick resin to begin with. But... So let's see, how about we just go this way? Leave the sides out. And there we go. And we'll see what that looks like in about six hours when it's done. Uh, let's see, do I need to add a few more in there? How about that couple there? Maybe another one there. How about another one there? And another one there. I think that should be plenty. I love playing in resin. It's just fun. And we'll let it set and we'll come back in about six hours to demold and we'll see what happens. I'll catch y'all then. Bye.